what we're seeing are temperatures that start off um, quite cold and then when the sky clears they drop fairly rapidly. If that condition can persist for a few days, um, the ground chills, gets quite cold. The ground itself is radiating away the heat into space, into clear space. And by getting very cold on the surface, you chill the atmosphere that's next to this very cold snow. This lower layer that's getting very cold under the clear sky conditions is denser and it starts to slide down this huge dome of Antarctica. What you need is a place where that air is actually caught and held for a while. So by causing the airflow to be stationary for an extended period, you get the absolute lowest temperatures that we're able to find.